previously on Average Dude. You're in the middle of a war zone, Benny. I mean, the Middle East wants to cut you out in Israel and wants to take that sacred land for themselves. And you're picking a fight with the U.S.? Are you suicidal? Oh, out of all the times to be doing this. Uh, uh, Egypt, what the hell are you thinking? Uh, September 11th is when you pull this horse crap? Think before you do. Think of the ramifications. Their behavior sucks. The United States is giving your military a, like a 1.3 billion a year in aid, and you're pulling this crap? You know what? U.S. Pull the aid. Uh, if your freedom of speech has no limits, may you accept our freedom of action. Ooh, ooh, careful with that one. Remember, this is September 11th. Watch your step, buckos, because when you get the U.S. to agree on something, ooh, not good. September 11th, 2012, has yet another update from the Middle East and their bullshit behavior. Libya's attack has killed an American ambassador and other Americans. Morons. Average dude has something to say about... Yep, everybody, the Middle East went too damn far this time. They say, Libya... Uh, who got to see the overthrow of uh, Gaddafi, and we had no small part in that, you're welcome. Pull this shit! Ambassador Chris Stevens, who has tried to help this armpit of the world, has been murdered. And I, I knew it, I knew I The Middle East's behavior, and I mean Israel, Egypt, and obviously, Livia, your behavior has been bullshit. Unbelievable. I mean, are you trying to incite us to war? Good job. You're doing a really good job. And I knew it. I knew that the moment that there were going to be bodies, I was going to start to see uh, the, the, the signs and the people out in the streets. Don't blame us. We, this is not uh, reflective of us. We didn't want this. It was... It was our badly behaved brats. I knew I was going to see this. In my previous video, I said, watch what think before you do. And they didn't. They didn't think at all. And you know what? I'm getting tired of hearing the excuses, but let's go over this. I'm seeing already that this is, supposed to, this is supposedly the work of a few. The work of a few? In a fortified location, this was the work of a few? They had tanks! If I'm reading some of these news stories correctly, and yeah, again, the news could be completely skewed, uh, it seems that uh, uh, the facts are based upon where you read the news from, but uh, the Libyan security guarding the site pulled out because they were too few. I, I'm not kidding. Wanis El Sharaf, East Libya's Deputy Interior Minister said, and I quote, We thought there was no way for the protesters to storm the compound, which had fortified walls. And yet, the security pulled out because they, they were too few? Wannis, what the hell? Hey, do you want your part of the world to be bombed to hell and high water? I guarantee you when you piss the American people off to agree to attack a country, we can definitely arrange that for you, you morons. Just ask Iraq. Unbelievable. Uh, and now I'm seeing, a, okay, jihadists want the world to believe that the attack is just a part of the protests against an amateur film produced in the U.S. I already talked about this in the previous film, uh, which includes crude insults regarding the Prophet Muhammad. And again, uh, Islam, Muslims, deal with it. We're constant. If you cannot handle criticism or insults, we're dealing... South Park, the cartoon South Park 
attacks everything. It's bound sooner or later to piss an American off or anybody watching it. Deal with it, Islam. Uh, Islamists, deal with it. Uh, we have to deal with it. We're not feeling your pain. We have to deal with Westboro and all the cracker heads here and all that nonsense and all the buttholes. We're not feeling your pain. I, I'm really tired of it. I'm hearing excuses. And now I'm starting to see the United States citizens uh, go to their respective radical sides because the radical nut farts are pulling them in their directions. I'm seeing those that want war, war, war. Woo, America, yeah, let's bomb everybody. And then I'm seeing the idiot liberals who, oh, let's just kiss and make up. You don't. Everything goes is not okay. You, you, th there are consequences for the crap that happens, and we don't seem to get that in the world today. Um, uh, an another quote that I'm seeing, since there were similar protests in English, er, English, Egypt, forgive me, against the film, it is possible that more protests may erupt in Muslim-majority countries such as Pakistan and Afghanistan. That concerns me. Pakistan and Afghanistan... Do not make that mistake. We're going to end up going to war. Don't push America. Oh, this attack does not reflect the attitude of the Libyan population. And I'm seeing all these pictures where the, where the citizens of Libya, because they knew that they went too far. They know that they're in deep shit. They are in a very critical point in their country's history because they just went through a revolution and then they pull this horse crap and then they think that they're going to get out and hold up their signs and that's going to appease America? No. And I'm going to tell you why, Libya and the Middle East. Every country needs to deal with their badly behaved children. Because that's what I'm seeing here. We're going to pass the buck on the few and blame it on them. Don't blame us. It's our badly behaved children. You know what? Parents, and I'm seeing this just in general out in the world. In, in, the, in the U.S. Parents have their kids acting like total ridiculous brats. And then the parents, do, oh, we're so, don't blame us. What can we do? Oh, we're parents. We're powerless. Bullshit. And that's another issue that I can uh, do an episode on. But it is time for parents, uh, literally and metaphorically, to spank the badly behaved children. Deal with it. Stop making excuses. America, when it comes to Terry Jones and Westboro, you did nothing. And the American people were to blame for that. We allowed our country and the judicial system with Snyder versus Phelps. Oh, what can we do? First Amendment apparently covers everything. What can we do? Yeah, America, the citizens of America, we're to blame for that one. We need to deal with our badly behaved brats. Terry Jones, that butthole pastor that burned a whole bunch of Korans and started all that crap uh, on September 11th of 2010, we needed to beat his ass, metaphorically and literally. He needed to be punished and not a slap on the wrist. That's why this is coming up again. But you know what? Uh... Middle East, deal with your own. This is a big problem around the world. Making excuses, not dealing with your problem, children. Uh, Middle East, Olivia, you are to blame. You, you had a whole, you had supposedly the actions of a few. I think you really need to seriously evaluate and possibly pull back that bullshit statement because if you're saying that it was the acts of a few, then why in the Sam hell did the majority of you just sit back and do nothing? You assholes. You cowards. Sitting back there and wanting to make excuses. And America's no better. But that's my point. Every country is responsible for dealing with their badly behaved brats. Punish the bad behavior. Don't ignore it. Don't just turn the other cheek. Uh, timeouts are ridiculous. Sometimes bad behavior is its own reward. And a timeout doesn't do shit. This is, this is just more upsetting. The lack of common sense, the lack of survival instinct, and the, just 
What, what the hell? You know what, Middle East? You are on the crux of America to actually agree upon yet another war. Fix the situation before it gets that far. End of video.